What the f- Hey everyone, how's it going? So if you've been playing Terra for as long as I have, you've probably run into situations where you want something and it doesn't get into your cart, or there's something that's wrong with a claw. Well, today we're going to talk about what happens if you dispute a prize in your play history. Terev is pretty cool in the fact that whenever you make a play on a machine, it's actually going to be going into your play history window. The play history is something that keeps track of all of your different plays, and you'll be able to watch how is it that you make plays and what you've done wrong, and it's a really cool feature that they're able to put on this game. But the even cooler part is that for your most recent plays, there's going to be a button that says Dispute Prizes 1. And when you click on this button, it's actually going to take you to a form that you can fill out if there's any issues with any of the gameplay that you have. On this form, you'll be able to do a couple of things. You're able to report four different types of inquiries. Prize confirmation, bug gameplay issues, payment, and other. The form itself is pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much, if there's an issue with the game and you're doing a prize confirmation, all you gotta do is report what machine it was on, and that's pretty much it. If you're going to report a bug or some kind of gameplay issue, you just have to give a little bit more detail about the Wi-Fi connection, maybe a description of what happened, and you can also put on the drop-down menu what kind of issue you ran into. For the most part, whenever I'm playing this game, I only use two functions on it the bug gameplay issues and prize confirmation. So let's go ahead and talk about when I actually use these features. When I'm reporting an issue, generally I only do it when the claw isn't moving or for some reason the claw ends up closing up earlier. And here's a couple of examples of some of my successful reports whenever there was an issue that arose. In this example, you can see that the claw actually closes a lot earlier than what it's supposed to. Generally, whenever claws go down, they go down all the way first before they actually close the grip. And in this case, it actually was closing as it went down. So that's something that only occurred once throughout my entire gameplays. So I decided, well, let's go ahead and report it. In addition to that, sometimes when you're playing the game, if you're trying to move the claw across the machine, it can get stuck in a pretty specific position and it doesn't actually move from a specific spot. That can really mess up your gameplay and that is something that would be considered a glitch, so you can actually also report that as well. Here's something that some people don't know, but if you were to read the fact page on Tereva, sometimes you might accidentally play a machine when there isn't something to be won. Say for example, you didn't notice that a ping pong machine already had something that was won, or you accidentally play something when the prize has already fell through the bars. You could actually report that too, and they might be able to give you additional TP or a free play ticket to compensate for the fact that you made an error. If you're successful in reporting a glitch or an issue, it'll take about one to one and a half weeks for them to get back to you. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. The most common feature that I use when it comes to disputing prizes is the prize confirmation. Like I said in the intro, sometimes when you win something, it doesn't automatically get recorded in your play history as prize obtained. And it also doesn't even show that it's confirming acquisition. Sometimes it just shows that it's a replay. This is more common when a machine has multiple prizes in it that can be won at any given time. If for some reason it doesn't automatically count the fact that you won something, you could go to dispute prizes and do a prize confirmation to make sure that you actually get the prize that you won. Sometimes you could dispute a prize that doesn't appear to actually be won. Let me give you an example of that. I was playing this machine where I was trying to win this slowpoke, and I actually invested a lot of money into trying to getting this, and I knew for a fact the next play that I was going to win was actually going to win it. Now, look and see what happens. In this case, I knew for a fact that I was going to win it. And this really got me frustrated because I was thinking, oh my gosh, I put so much money into this. It got stuck. How do I make sure that I get this? Because I know for sure I was going to win it. So in this case, I also submitted a prize confirmation submission form to see if they would actually give it to me. And they actually gave it to me while they were resetting the machine. In this case, it actually seemed like it was a pretty cool thing to do. I actually didn't know that you could dispute prizes if it was clearly going to be won and it just got stuck somehow. But that's the only time that I've ever disputed a prize being won and I was successful with it. I don't know if there's any other situations where that happened to anybody else. Leave it in the comments if that's something that you actually were able to do and tell us how long it took for them to actually get back to you. At least in my case, it only took about five to six minutes for them to actually get back to me because they needed to reset the machine. Here's the proof that I got that slowpoke. <laughs> I was actually able to get the slowpoke with the fact that I disputed the prize and it was pretty cool. <laughs> so there's that. But here's the thing, 
Don't abuse the fact that we have the ability to do something like this because there are going to be some situations where I actually wouldn't suggest doing this because it doesn't really make sense to actually do it. There's two situations that I would actually say for sure probably wouldn't work. Say for example you're playing something on a balance bar or on a platform and you're trying to pick something up but it doesn't move it at all. If you watch my free play video with the links in the description below, you'll know that prizes have a very specific way of being won and as long as you know how to do it, chances are you'll be able to move it. I actually wouldn't be able to report that as a bug because all of these prizes have a specific way of being won. In addition to that, if you're playing a ping pong machine and it doesn't actually pick up a ball, that's also something that I wouldn't really report either because, I mean, sometimes it's really just for luck. The machine can be continually picking it up all at once and then all of a sudden it just doesn't do it. I mean, I haven't thought about reporting it. If somebody's reported it, please make sure to put it in the comment below and let me know what happens if, if you actually you are successful in doing that. That's pretty much it for today. I'm hoping that this was a really good tutorial on how to use dispute prizes and just letting you know that I was successful in getting something that was disputed because clearly that slowpoke was supposed to fall into that hole. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and you can get more content on Tereba and make sure to share this video so that we can expand on our Tereba community. All right, I'll see you all around.